morning folks. Well, it's a beautiful winter's day in southern Ontario. And today just happens to be the last day of, or the second last day of muzzleloader season for deer, but uh, today my work precludes hunting. I gotta get a propane boiler installed in our house here. When we did the renovations to this old 1850s farmhouse, uh, we installed a wood-fired boiler in the basement, and it served us very well actually. And Unfortunately back then I worked away from home a lot, and we had a bad chimney fire one time when I was home on a weekend. So I removed it and I installed an oil-fired unit and it worked really well too. And We really don't use it a lot. We would burn maybe a tank of oil in a bad winter, a tank and a half. But last winter the boiler developed a split so I've torn it out and I'm mounting a very efficient Wiesman condensing combi boiler. And the first task today is I have to knock a hole in our field stolen walls, the foundations to our basement. They're about three foot thick. I have to put a hole in for a vent and a hole in for fresh air intake for the burner. So here, I'll show you what it's going to look like. So once the boiler's installed, I'll remove the oil tank and I'll remove the oil line. And I've got to put an intake and an exhaust through this wall right here. Now, the Wiesman unit I'm going to mount right here. So I want to simplify some of this point. Right, right. Here we go with a Bosch 30 pounder. Well, that's 24 inches in. Oh, I sure wish this bit was 36 inches long. That'd make life a lot easier. Oh, well. Hole number one. Here we go, hole number two. Oh, I'm so happy to have that through. I'll take the camera down and I'll show you what it looks like. There's the hole in the pile of rubble and that 30 pound hammer drill. Let's take a look outside. Anyhow, I think I've got the toughest part, at least what I thought was going to be the toughest part of this job done. And I'm going to build a little form here. I'm going to pour a little pad of concrete right there, and I'm going to bolt a frame to it to hang the boiler from. stones out of the rubble and threw it in the form. I carried six bags of uh, pre-mixed concrete down here and now I'm going to mix it up in a pail and throw it in the form. But check out what my wife just did for me. She made me a cup of tea and homemade mincemeat tarts. One of my favorites. I'm so spoiled. I married up, let me tell you. <laughs> There's one bag gone. One here, and one here. 
So now what's left, I'm going to mount the bracket that holds the boiler up and hang the boiler. Wow! If somebody had told me I'd be hanging that boiler by myself, I would never have believed it. When I think back to the monstrosity that was here before, and that was really no problems whatsoever. Now I just gotta hook up exhaust, intake, and uh, put a relief valve in here, and then plumb it in. Harry for lending me the, the uh, pipe cutting tool and the beveling tool for this BH gas van. It's all done. But it's 25 after 9 now, so it's time for me to call it. So we'll be back over here another night.